Hey guys, Jamie here with The Point of It All. Find out why my new best friend for this winter will be the Crock-Pot Mini Food Warmer. Hey guys, Jamie here with The Point of It All, and today we'll be unboxing a neat little crock pot that I found while I was browsing uh, Amazon one late, late night when I couldn't sleep. Um, if you travel to and from the house for work or social activities and you need something to carry your lunch in, whether it's soup or chili or clam chowder, that's a soup too, right? Um, this might be a really good idea for you and make a great Christmas gift um, because for the person that has everything, I bet they don't have this. So let's open this thing up and see what's inside. I'm gonna use my trusty Leatherman Surge here, my favorite pocket tool. Probably overkill for this job, but what are you gonna do? I'm a guy. All right, so let's see. Of course we have the obligatory user's manual. I'm sure it's got some neat do's and don'ts in here, so let's take a look. Yeah, we're not really gonna read this. We'll just thumb through the pages. Real quick, just to show you that there is a manual included. Okay, put it aside, and let's see what's actually in the box. All right, so this is a lot of plastic. All right, it's pretty lightweight, not heavy at all. Let me get rid of this box for you. Okay, so I can already see the outer lid. Okay, yeah, this is really light, lighter than I thought it would be. So we got to get this first lid off. You should probably rip the plastic off first, though. Because I think that lid is twisted on there. Yeah, okay. Okay, let me get rid of the plastic. It'd be easier this way. Ooh, I love the green. Now, I, I'm, I'm an army green guy. I love army green. This is close. Not exactly dark enough, but it's okay. So there's the outer lid, and let's see what's inside here. So there's the inner pot, and then this is the heating element. This is just like a little crock pot, like a real crock pot. It's funny. So this lid goes over the main heating element, heating compartment there. And then the inner pot has its own lid. Pretty neat. It's so cute. I'm sorry. It's just so cute. It's adorable. Even though it's army green, it's still adorable. This looks like it's a gasket for air pressure release. Okay, cool. I don't think it's going to be travel friendly. I, I, you probably can't spill it. Even though it has a gasket around the edges here, I don't think it's spill proof because the hole in the uh, the air pressure gasket there. Still pretty neat though. This feels, it's really light. This feels like an aluminum material, I'm not sure. And this is the 19 out size. You can see the fill line there. That should be enough for a medium sized can of soup. It's really nice, really light. I'm imagining that this would be dishwasher safe at least the outer, the inner parts will be. Of course, the heating part won't be, but that's going to do it for this unboxing of the mini crock pot. Please join me right after this video for the full in depth review. I'll see you there. Hey guys, Jamie here with the point of it all. Today we are reviewing the crock pot mini food warmer. This is a device that I believe will be the perfect companion for this upcoming winter. Um, I've had the chance to use this for a couple of days now and I'm really impressed with not only the build quality but the practical use scenarios as well. Uh, if you travel to lunch uh, out of the home and you need something quick and easy to uh, warm your food uh, while you're you know doing your job and you come back to lunch later this is a great idea. Um, so let's get right into it. So the crock pot mini food warmer this is the 19 ounce or 20 ounce version it fits a 19 ounce can of soup perfectly uh, with nothing left over in the can um, it comes in three different parts right you have the lid the main lid then you have the inner lid and then you have the inner pot well four parts because you have the warmer the warmer base as well uh, but the inner pot looks like it's made of aluminum um, i think this might if you drop it it will dent because it's rather thin uh, but again, this is the 20 ounce size. It fits a 19 ounce can of soup perfectly. You can see that I like around the edges here. What I like about this pot, about this setup is that all of the lids lock into place by twisting and screwing on. There's like screw, 
screw lines around the edge and the same for the main lid as well and this is great because you don't have to worry about spilling or you know chipping over and wasting the contents of the pot um, it also gets a really good seal because of that and the food not only warms faster but it stays warm longer now this doesn't really have any claims as far as keeping your food warm for an extended period of time in fact my real life scenario my real life experience was um what i went from hot to um cold in like three and a half hours so it's not horrible but it's not really advertised as you know a unplugged as a food warmer or a thermos um so how does it cook well think of this as if you have a crock pot or have used one in the past think of this as um your crock pot on the warm setting or the keep warm setting that's that's really the best way to describe this um, it isn't going to get any hotter than that because it's a fixed temperature system uh, which is good because you don't have to worry about burning or sticking foods uh, but yeah once you plug it in that's all you have to do like there are no more adjustments you can make you know to the temperature um, now the temperature that it does get to is hot like you can burn yourself it does get pretty warm so be careful uh, especially i wouldn't recommend this for kids you know of a certain age because you can burn yourself um, but adults should definitely be fine um, now this lid the inner lid so basically you would pour the contents of your food into the inner pot right and this inner pot goes back into the warming base and you, you'll make it only goes in one way because there's actually a pin on top of the warming base so you guys can see that pin there see it right there and then there's a matching hole in the inner pot and that locks that locks the whole base the whole pot into the base right and then the sealing lid screws on right and once it's in there it isn't going anywhere it's in there it's tight um, I don't recommend you purposely tip this on its edge while there's contents in the pot because there is a, 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 an, um, a pressure gasket here a pressure valve and there's a hole so contents could spill out of there this is not I don't think it's a spill proof container at all so be careful with that now if it's just an accidental tip over you'll be fine because it's not gonna you know ooze out that fast but just be careful with that and then the pot the outer outer lid locks into place or just sort of lock into place and it's in there pretty good right that, that's in there solid so you plug it in go to your work come back to eat and it's ready to go um, from from room temperature to food ready or eat ready was about an hour but about an hour I mean you can if you don't want it piping hot it's ready to go in like 45 50 minutes but usually an hour hour and 10 minutes was good enough to get it to the highest that temperature setting from from lukewarm to uh, from room temperature at least now I I then tried I put this in the fridge overnight with the contents I just put the inner pot in the fridge overnight and I wanted to see how long it took to warm it from cold to uh, edible temperature and from cold from the fridge plugged in it took about three hours to get to steaming hot again so that's not bad that's not bad at all um, so you could put your food overnight in the fridge before you went to work the next day and then grab it out of the fridge dumped it in your you know sealed it into your outer pot and grab it and you're ready to go to work boom done um, something else I like about this pot is that everything you need to use it is here like there's nothing else you need to take with you maybe a spoon or a fork uh, but the power cord even stores in the bottom as well um, you can see where you would just unplug it from the base here you would slide that part the smaller part into the uh, container or the uh, holder here and then wrap the cord around the pot and then finally there's resting places here with these two clamps to hold it down in place and it's held pretty well um, as far as cleanup goes it is dishwasher safe to a degree obviously you don't want to put the pot the warming pot in the dishwasher because there are electronic components there that you'd have to worry about damaging or ruining but for the rest of it there's no reason why the rest of it wouldn't be dishwasher safe I mean it's just plastic right um, it's just plastic and a metal tin so you should be fine but just like your normal size crock pot 
you don't want to put that in the dishwasher either. So be, be careful with that. Um, I can't recommend this enough, guys, for a quick gift idea for the person that has everything. I know we've got those tech people in our lives that already have every gadget out there imaginable. But this is something that they could use throughout the winter time or through the summer as well if they're big fans of hot food for lunch or soup or whatnot. Um, so that's going to be it. And you know what? You could actually, I just thought about something. You could actually put um, like a, a dip in here. Like a, I know, um, like a chicken or cheese dip for tortillas or whatever. So, I mean, you can be imaginative and add some other, you know, food types other than soup and chili to this thing as well, because it does get pretty hot. Um, but that's going to do it for this review, guys. If you like the channel, please hit the subscribe button on the bottom. Uh, my reviews and opinions are only going to get better as the channel grows. And you can help me do that. So if you like what you just saw or heard, please uh, hit the subscribe button, share it with your friends, family, and I appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.